How's it going, good friends? Brian from Apex Detail, Sonax X-Cut 0505. And I believe it to be one of the few polishes or compounds from Sonax that I've yet to review or showcase on the channel. I like a large number of their compounds, although I gotta tell you, you will pay for them. Like the top two of uh, product lines where my favorite correction liquids come from, you will pay for those products, they are a bit pricey. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Sonax X-Cut 0505. The Sonax Profiline X-Cut 0505, 33 ounces for 50 bucks, and you'll notice it has the same cut and finish rate at 5 on their 1 to 6 scale as cut and finish, because that's exactly what it is, just made for a dual action polisher. The slight difference is I can't exactly tell you, but today we're working on a 1951 Ford Flathead V8. Uh, this thing is a frame-up restoration, almost 40K dropped into it, but that was almost a year ago. Since then, with improper wash technique, of course, it's going to end up here. We're going to take care of cleaning it inside now, but we're going to restore it to paint and get it back to perfect as well. There's hardly any orange peel uh, texture whatsoever. It's a nice flat paint job. The panels are straight. We're going to get this looking good. We're going to use the Sonax X-Cut 0505 to get it done. Let's go in close for a good look at what we're after today. You can see the love marks from improper wash technique and some etching and staining. And we're going to take care of that in one step. No need for a two-step or multi-step correction. We could take care of that with the 0505 with one step. Just have to find the right pad and the right polisher. We want to get it clean first. And in normal cases, we would wash it normally. But with these older cars, anything antique or classic, and if you're not familiar with it, just do yourself a favor and do a rinseless wash technique, even if you don't like doing them or not familiar with doing them. It'll save you a headache. This has white in the interior. If there's any leaks in the seals or rubber grommets at all, there could be some staining and it'll be uh, a bit of a headache down the road for you and your customer. We have an area masked off. I normally do a lot of one steps or enhancements with the 5050 pad, the Eurofiber pad. And knowing where this was painted, there is a ton of uh, what I'm guessing is hard clear. We'll find out soon. So let's get this going. Good enough, let me remove the residue, remove the masking tape as well, grab you guys so we can both look at the 50-50 shot and we can decide if this indeed will be the combination we're going to go all the way around the car with. 
You will indeed see that all imperfections are removed. However, as we back out, you'll see it is a bit hazed over. That means it's too aggressive. So a lot of you are asking, how do I know if the paint is either too soft or too hard? If the paint is too soft, you're gonna see it's hazed over slightly uh, more than the area we didn't touch yet. That means it's way too soft. So uh, the guess was wrong as to what they used uh, for this paint. It's hard to guess what, um, you know, a an aftermarket body shop's going to use, but we're going to change pads and it's going to be a light polishing pad. And we'll see if this combination gives us what we're looking for. That should do it. Let me remove the masking tape. We'll get rid of the residue. We'll come in once again and see the difference this time. That's what we're looking for. Instead of being hazier than the side we haven't touched, it's actually even more glossy and clear, and it's removed all this, the imperfections. That's what we're going to go with. And I have my trusty co-pilot. It's going to help me blast through this. We're going to go um, top to bottom, front to back. Uh, big shout out to Dan here. If it wouldn't be for him, I wouldn't be able to get a lot of the projects done on time when the deadline is up. And uh, a huge thank you to Dan. So we're going to keep rolling. I gave him the exact same pad as I have. And we're both going to use the X-Cut 0505. We're going to get this done. I want to bring you in close so you can see the product being worked in and you can see the residue turning into a thin film so you can keep an eye on the progress you're making on the panel. No dusting whatsoever. That's a familiar sign with Sonax correction fluids. Easy to remove, a long open or long cycle time. You can work it for a long period of time and finish down. You could switch pads and finish down even further. Easy to wipe off and the gloss it leaves behind is very, very good. A coarse abrasive will give it a quick cut right out of the gate, but break down quickly to give you a nice, glossy, uh, high gloss level finish. It is perfect for removing sand marks up to 1500. We'll take care of etching, staining, and the love marks you saw at the beginning of the video.
that's going to take care of it. We are done. We blew through that rather quickly. It's back to perfection, right back to looking like it just came out of the paint booth, dripping wet. And we're just going to lay down a little bit of a polymer protection on this and send it on its way. So thanks to uh, the Sonax um, X Cut 0505, we are finished with another project. And for the final thought segment of the video, the Sonax X-Cut 0505, just a split image of the Sonax cut and finish, just a version for your dual action polisher. Effective, great for one steps, um, could be used for a cutting step, uh, a medium cut compound, or you can even use it to finish on hard clear coats and surfaces. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video. And if you are enjoying the content from the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when we have new content.